Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Popcat Fighter Unleash the Furry. Popcat Fighter is for two to four players, ages 13 and up, for about 30 to 45 minutes in the game. In Popcat Fighter, well, before we get involved in that, I gotta show you. When you open it up, it looks like a little arcade. Isn't that cute? In Popcat Fighter, you're gonna be playing as one of eight different Popcat Fighters. You're gonna be able to choose one of those guys. You're gonna be able to get a hand of a certain amount of cards, and you're gonna be doing your actions. Four attack actions, your opponent will do his four defense actions. You're gonna rinse and repeat. Uh, they get their attack, you get your defense. You're gonna have a health bar, which is going to be shrinking as you take damage. You'll have super abilities and mega abilities. You have the ab ability to uh, counter attack. You have these little taunts. Uh, you got instants. You've got directional and power cards, and of course, defense cards in which you're going to be trying to outmaneuver and outclass your cat. Every single cat is also going to be different based on their power level or uh, power up card which will be attaching them in some way. Some of them will give you defense bonuses or attack bonuses and whatnot. And you're going to rinse and repeat. You're actually going to be fighting uh, between three rounds. So whatever best of two just like a normal side scrolling two player uh, of combat game kind of like Street Fighter or Tekken. Anyway that's the basic idea of Popcat Fighter. Let's go ahead and check a look. Check a look, take a look. So here's Popcat's fighter, and as you can see, comes with quite a bit of things. And you remember these little things are in the box. Well, you actually are gonna be using these by flipping them over. It's gonna become, become the round counter, as well as these things here are going to be your power up or power meter counters here. And they're gonna start at zero. You have this little uh, slide tracker. Of course, this is all prototypey, but it looks super cool already. Uh, over here, you got your power up levels. You've got your characters, and each character has their own uniqueness to them, as well as a mega and a super move that are gonna require different aspects for your uh, meter. So this is gonna cost five meter power, this is 11 meter power. You're going to also get these bars here. It's gonna start at full health, just like you would normal side-scrolling uh, two-player combat game, just like this. And as you take damage, it's going to be reduced until the point where you're meh out of your nine lives, right? Uh, you also have your quick guide. This is actually a rule book along with a quick guide, which is super nice. This is a way, if you ever forget any little rules, this is going to be a very handy dandy tool. This is one of the best um, ones I've ever seen. One of the best uh, player guides or player references I've seen. You also have a deck of cards. You have this deck of cards, which is the 2v or 1v1. And then with this, you add this up for the 2v2 aspect. And in the 2v2, you'll actually be sharing your power meter, but you'll have different separate lives as well as separate characters. Uh, you've got your card here, the hand here, which which is going to be eight cards, I believe. And you're going to have your meow turn, which is either uh, whether it's your turn or not your turn. And when it's your turn, you're going to be doing the attacks. And uh, you have your win tokens here, which we'll be placing here. Whoever gets to two first is going to be the winner of the game. So let's go ahead and show you a little bit of a setup. We're going to move away this 2v2. We're going to just talk about the 1v1 aspect. Uh, we're going to pick two characters. One of my favorites is Katana. And then we'll have, I guess, Pearl fighting. We're going to move the rest of the cats away because we won't need them. But you can always bring them back in another duel and we're going to go ahead and set it up. So this player here is going to get his katana, his mega move, and his super move. We'll put this uh, here, and it can, you can be the blue or you can be the red. It's up to you. And you get your life meter here. He gets her, She gets her life meter over here. You're going to get your super meter here, and your super meter is going to start off at zero here. And uh, I would get mine as well. Mine is right here at zero as well. And uh, make sure you have your life's tracker. And then, of course, your little quick reference guide. We'll put the these things here just for reference is for what they are. You've got the counter move, your jump move, your throw. Um, this is, And you can tell the difference between them all. There's an instant. This is a specific maneuver. Uh, this is an attack, and this is a directional that can be put together. And then you've got your defensive moves. This guy already has his eight cards ready, so we're going to need to deal out eight more cards for this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight cards for this guy here. And then set this deck aside because we'll be using it throughout the game. And uh, now we are about ready to go. We're going to move these guys here. Give me guess. Okay. And let's look at the board now as we set it all up. Uh, you have your uh, kitten block card. Kit blocks an additional two hits. So instead of doing three, it'll block five. This here is if you have 10 on your meter here, you can reduce 10 down and you get to do 12 damage. It can be blocked though. Uh, and then you have this one over here, which is remove six from your meter and it steals two cards from an opponent's hand, as well as doing five hits of damage. And over here, she can uh, play an extra instant card each turn. That's pretty useful. And then she's got 12 damage here and 5 damage with the your other attack moves this turn have plus 1 additional hit. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to actually go ahead and have Katana 
have her turn first. Now, let's go ahead and look at the hand. Okay, so we get four actions. And in the game, you get your actions are going to be either to draw two cards. So if you want, you can draw two cards. Uh, and that would be that. You could also discard two cards if you wanted to. And if you do that, you're going to discard one into the discard pile. And then you're going to discard one face down into this little stack over here. And although the rules do say that there's certain cards you cannot actually place in this meter, but when you uh, discard two, put one here, put one there, move this meter up by one, that's going to increase your super. And that is uh, those, those two actions. Another action could be to play an attack. And when you play an attack, you can simply put one of these guys down. A litter toss, five damage. If you had a directional card, uh, for instance, let's see if I can find one really quickly here so you can see what it does, like this one here. You could attach that along with it. It wouldn't count as an action. It's just a, an additional uh, combo move, basically. So you're doing like an up B, and that would do eight damage there. But because we don't actually have that card, it'll just be that one. And we can simply play another card here. So we have this one here. This is a, uh, let's see, this is a taunt card uh, that says you can, um, another card that affects all your attacking moves played. Opponent must block this card first before they can block this one. So we can go ahead and place that there. That'd be his four actions, or her four actions. And then, of course, it's this player. Now, it's still this player's turn, but he gets four defensive actions. And the defensive actions are the same thing. You'll be able to draw two cards. You can discard and put one card face down there. Or you can start playing uh, taunts, and, or you can start playing blocks. Let's see what kind of blocks we have here. We got these three in our hand. This is a kitten block. Reduce the damage by three hits, which is actually pretty useful, because this can only be blocked by a kitten block. So that's one action right there. And this is a counter. Avoid damage from one attack and... Um, move your counter back with one attack move. So I can only play if I have an attack move, and I... Wow, I don't. I've got five directionals, so I can't actually play that one. Let's see. Combo break. If he had multiple attacks, I could combo break and choose one of them and only take one damage from the other one. So this one's likely going to get through. So in that case, maybe I'm just going to go ahead and draw two cards, and maybe I got something good? Nope. I'll go ahead and draw two more cards. Okay. And so this is going to go ahead and hit me. I'll take five damage, and I'll look at this tracker here, and I'm going to actually start out at full health, just like this player would. They both get to be at full health here. And I'm going to take five damage from 27. Boop. Boop, 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 down to 22. I'm down to about seven and a half lives here, as you can see. And uh, this is going to go away. Whenever you successfully uh, do an attack, you're going to actually increase your meter by one. So that moves it up to two here. And whenever you successfully do a block, I believe you're going to actually uh, increase your meter by one as well. That's pretty useful when you want to use these super moves. And the play is then going to switch. It'll be Meow turn now, and I'll be able to use my attack moves. And you're going to be playing down your, of course, you're going to be doing your attack attacks along with your directionals if you have the ability that would be seven damage there and do I have another one I can do oh I can do some serious damage right here bam and bam uh, I can also play a taunt that would be three actions right there followed by a fourth of let's go ahead and discard and place this here that's going to increase my combo again so basically increasing my beaners and I think I think whenever you successfully do one of those attacks you actually place them on here as well because you have to discard the cards from the top so yeah when he did that defensive uh, block so this kitten block it actually would go here and the damage for the five damage would actually go here as well so that way you can keep track with not only the cards you're getting rid of but also your little meter there so i played all my actions here he's got his response now he gets to try and block stuff he's got one block here special move a block so avoid damage from a special move or any one attack move and draw two cards at the end of the turn so we're going to look at the differences here this one says draw two cards if this actually is successful uh, but i have this taunt here so i don't know if i can actually block this with this because it says i must block this card with a kitten block before they're able to defend anything else. So I don't have a kitten block, so let's go ahead and try and draw into a kitten block. One, oh no, two actions. Oh, this is not good. I don't got any kitten blocks. So I'm going to start taking some serious damage otherwise. Oh, let's see here. You can steal, you steal and are able to use your opponent's inner power. Okay, that's not going to help me for right now. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Oh, no. So I'm going to end up taking damage. I'm going to take five. Uh, I'm going to take seven there for 12. And this stops me from not taking the damage. So bam, 12 damage, 27. Let's go down to something like that, if I can keep, if I can math correctly. Um, and these would get removed. I, I hit three times. So these three would go here. And it would go up. Boop. And then, of course, it'd be the next player's turn. They're going to keep going back and forth until eventually somebody's life total goes to zero. Don't forget, though, on your turn, you can use these Mega and Super moves. And also, at the beginning of the game, especially if you're a little more advanced, you can choose uh, randomly one of these power-up cards. You each get one of these guys here. And it says you can play any extra instant card once per turn. You can play an extra instant card once per turn instead of just the normal one. And this one over here says your kitten block cards block two additional hits. So if this guy had this one, it would actually block four additional hits with a kitten block. 
Now these just increase the amount of replayability with the game and changes the characters up a little bit. But yeah, you can discard cards here. Uh, if I had six here, I could discard all six here and I could actually use this here, it's stealing two cards and drawing two cards, all that, all that good stuff. But that's the basic idea of the game. Uh, once this would happen, if this guy, if this guy, or if this guy died, this guy would get the win and you'd rinse and repeat and clean everything up and do it one more time. And of course there's a two for two, uh, two V two mode, which you had this extra set of cards in here. They have little second two kittens on here. So it actually explains what the different attacks are and you're going to be sharing certain things you'd share this super meter but you'd all get your own set of life points anyway that's the basic idea of pop cat fighters explain as best as i could anyway come up let's talk about it so pop cat fighters that's the basic idea right you're basically attacking and defending with cards using specific instants and defenses directionals all that good stuff like you would in a normal uh side scrolling 1v1 combat game like street fighter attack and that kind of stuff it has a very good feel for one of those type of games you're not actually a character going back and forth with each other like some of the other games i've played but it does feel like i'm going back like okay i'm doing this oh he's defending with this oh it's now his turn he's going to be attacking me and i have to be more on the defensive oh i've got all these super combos i can use i'm powering up do i want to be more defensive when i want to start charging my abilities or do i want to go more on the um, offensive and start uh, pushing my attacks and hitting as hard as i can there's some really strong and powerful cards in here along with the fact that you have to have all the cards correctly in your hand in order to utilize them you have to make sure that you're using your directionals along with your attacks and there's some defensive cards that can be beneficial as well my favorite is the stacks on stacks cards that one actually lets you play multiple cards on top of attack cards and it can do a ton of powerful stuff um, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere in here. But nevertheless, it's, it's, it's cool. I like it a lot. All the characters are unique too. They all have their own different abilities and their super move and mega moves are super cool because you're, you're like, I want to save up for those and you don't feel like it's too late to use them throughout the game. You can utilize them almost halfway through the game if you want or even sooner if you're willing to go very, very defensive. But there's tons of characters and not only that though, but the power-up cards like I was talking about, the power up, uh, these guys here, these guys are always going to make the game a little different for you. No matter what character you're using, you're going to get one of these and it's going to have some kind of benefit fit. Uh, the production quality is great in this game. It, it feels like I'm moving, losing my losing my lives as well as the fact that they just add little things that you don't really necessarily need but it works very well like the nine live tracker on the top here and it, it sucks away your health points as you as you go through. Um, and then of course your little power meter bar here too as well going up and down on this little track here. And of course in the back it's got your 1v1 for the actual box. I really hope the box design box design comes exactly like that. This is this if if I bought a Kickstarter game once in a while, specifically Popcat Fighters would be one I'd pick up, especially if you got um Family gamers, if you got some gals that enjoy the cat style, I mean, the internet loves cats in general. I think this game is going to do very well, just just based on the premise of the game, the style, and the artwork, which is really, really cool as well. I like all the different artwork. All the different cats are so fun. El Tigre, uh, Clawfang, and then you got Spalkles, and a Puma, and Berserker. K17-7Y, or Kitty for short. Short. Uh, it's fun though. I really enjoy this game. Uh, full disclosure, I got to play this with the designers at uh, Comic Con 2018. So that was really, really cool. And they showed me how to play the game. We sat there and I started going through it. And it was at the request of another reviewer who told me to check it out before I left. So this was the last game I got to kind of play there. And I picked up the game. I was like, oh, I'd like to review it and give, give my thoughts on it. And I got to play here with a couple people and, uh, Overall, it's fun. It's a really enjoyable game. It's one of the better cat games I've played in a long, long time. Um, so definitely do check out Pop Cat Fighters. It'll be live on Kickstarter very, very shortly. So I want to make sure I get this video out. Unleash the furry Pop Cat Fighters. All right.